awesome. Before we talk about one of my largest 3D printing failures, I have to tell you this episode is sponsored by Keeps. Head to keeps.com forward slash 3DPN for 50% off your first order. And now, on with the show. There you are, welcome back. Yes, my largest and most satisfying print failure ever just happened and I wanna talk about it. And it's all because of my buddy Jacob who goes by Thin Air 3D over on TikTok. Jacob and others, including myself, are a part of Print Talk, and it's the 3D printing community on TikTok. And there's a lot of people on there, such as Emily the Engineer, Frankly Built, It's Boy in Space, Thin Air 3D, uh, Hot Rod Hippie, like myself, wow. uh, just kind of finding our way and being a part of the community. Jacob, Thin Air 3D, was at 30 to 40,000 followers and then just decided to put Dwayne The Rock Johnson's head on things. Right. And so it began, he put The Rock's head on everything you could think of. And among putting The Rock's head on things, he did tutorials showing people how to model things in a CAD environment. Putting The Rock's head on things got him a bit more of a following. 100,000 followers, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 followers. He created something called the Ultra Clicker 72,000 and he threw down the gauntlet and he challenged me to print it. Thin Air 3D is crossing all sorts of milestones and at 400K or whatever it is, he created some sort of massive fidgety thing and well, I want you to see something. And there are 400 little fidgety buttons on this thing. It's 450 millimeters by 450 millimeters and it's printing right now. I've been challenged, and of course, I have a G-Max which is capable of printing this 400 button monstrosity. And in order to print it, I want to do some small scale tests first, because I don't want to print this whole thing and then have none of the buttons work. Thinner 3D has this clicker right here. It's a really simple model and it doesn't take long to print. And it really lets you verify whether or not your printer is ready to print in, print in place models such as this. So I printed this out, I loaded it into IdeaMaker, sliced it up, printed it on the G-Max. And the problem is that this is supposed to click in and out and it's too tight. There's not enough clearance between the internal parts to make this a clicker. So within Idea Maker, there's this really cool feature. I know there is in other slicers, but I used Idea Maker and it's called XY Size Compensation for Contours. And it allows you to adjust the outer contours of a model. A positive number will grow the outer limits or in, in, in a sense, extend the perimeter and a negative number will shrink the perimeter. And since we're talking about print in place mechanisms, then each, each little segment is its own perimeter. And so a negative number will shrink the inner part and shrink the outer part. It's, it's an interesting concept, but for print in place, it's really a great way to get your printer ready. I set that to minus 0.1, essentially minus 0.1 millimeter. And then I made this. This is a clicker and it clicks. It's a really satisfying click, but it's a little bit difficult to click. Next, I did this one, but instead of 0.1, I did negative 0.2, minus 0.2 millimeters. And it's just wiggly. There's, there's not enough holding that in place to create that click. And so it's not very satisfying. I went ahead, printed it again, and this time I used minus 0.15. Again, we're just printing this small model and doing tests. Yeah, it's an easy click, but it's a really satisfying sound. So I thought, this is the ticket. This is where I want to be. Now with the correct setting identified, I brought in the Ultra Clicker 72000 into Idea Maker and I sliced it and then I went to lunch. This model is incredible and it took a long time for this laptop right here to chew on it. In fact, enough for me to go get a tasty sandwich for lunch. We got sandwiches, right? Yeah, Subway. Subway, it was yummy. Mm. And the model was all sliced, so I saved it to an SD card and then I brought that over to the G-Max and I loaded it up with some printed solid filament 
and I hit print. And then I went live on TikTok. That's right, that's right. The Ultra Clicker 72000 from Thin Air 3D is on the live. Look at, look at all those little, tiny, tiny, there's 400 of them. And it looked really, really cool. And a lot of people were enjoying being able to see this. And then I wake up one morning to text messages, private messages on TikTok, Twitter DMs, Facebook messages. Joel, Joel, your print, it failed, it stopped, it failed, it stopped. Well, I got to the bottom of it and here's what happened. It was looking so good. It was looking so, so good. We were almost on day two and it was going and then, ah! Yeah, total failure, but super satisfying, right? So here it is, look at this. I found most of them. We have about 50 missing, but there are, then it means 350 in here. And while the satisfying release of these on TikTok looked pretty cool, we've got some high resolution cameras going here. And so here it is in high res slow motion. Okay, ready? <laughs> awesome! I'm not picking that up. That was a ton of fun. And, and uh, while I'm cleaning this up, I just want to let you know that because of the equipment we're shooting with, we shot that in slow motion in full 8K resolution. And you can head to the link in the description. We've got that full 8K shot in slow motion over on Technically Nerdy. Power outages suck. And that was the reason for that failure right there. It was really windy here in the Seattle area and we lost the power, like, my, like I said on TikTok, for I believe 30, 40 minutes, something like that. It just sucks. However, however, I was not to be defeated and I was going to try again. The model was already sliced and ready to go on the G Max 2. And in that time, Alex from Protopasta had visited and brought us a bunch of recycled Protopasta PLA material. Hello? So I loaded that up in the G-Max, and we tried again. The Ultra Clicker 72,000 is done! Three days, 13 hours, 10 minutes, and 9 seconds. It did not lift from the bed. <laughs> yes! It worked! It was complete! And here! is the Ultra Clicker 72,000. Oh, it's, it's so, it's so cool. It's just so clicky. But here, I wanna show you the other side. I used those recycled protopasta filaments and I originally had, I believe it was filament one PLA here and then I swapped it out for the red. But you can see, because it was doing the infill for the bottom layer, you see these blue circles and then the reds poke through. Oh, it's a satisfying snap. Oh, sorry. Uh, on this side, you can kind of tell. So 10% um, infill, gyroid, I think it was. And I didn't necessarily have enough top layers for the buttons to be filled in. I don't care though, because it still sparks joy. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go take a look at some of the people on TikTok who are talking about 3D printing. And I will put links to them in the description. And yes, I know TikTok has all sorts of other content that you may or may not enjoy, but there are specific people talking about 3D printing in a joyous way on TikTok. And I don't want you to miss that. Oh, that was tough. Oh. I've always thought hair loss traits were passed down from your mom's side. Turns out that's just a myth. In fact, another myth is wearing a ball cap will make you lose your hair. I'm really glad that's a myth because I spent the better part of a decade wearing a ball cap. As you could tell, I still have quite a healthy head of hair on me. Unfortunately, there are those that want this but don't have it. And for those people, Keeps has you covered. 
Keeps is an online subscription service for doctor-recommended hair loss treatments with proven results that many customers notice within six months of starting treatments. All treatment plans are personalized, doctor-recommended, and backed by 24-7 expert support. Everything is done online, and everything your hair could possibly need is delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. Hair loss stops with Keeps. And if you want 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com forward slash 3DPN, or you can click the link in the description. A big, big thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this episode. And now I'm gonna have you right back to it. I know a lot of people like clicky things, fidgety things, but if you, if you wanna think about an actual use case for something like this, you could create a clicker that could do braille. So you could have a braille character on here that someone who knows braille could then put their hands on and be like, oh, I know that character or I know that word. And so while this is fun, there are practical implications that people can make with this. And, and now since we've reached the end, I'm gonna challenge you to do something practical with a print in place mechanism. I want you to design something or find something and change it and tag me when you release it. I'm, I'm at Joel Telling on the Twitters and I'm at Joel Telling 5 on the TikToks. I hope to see you on those platforms with really cool functional prints. If you've made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, design really cool stuff. And as always, high five. I wonder if I could click in a high five. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh. So what would a high five be? Does that be like, it'd look weird. It doesn't have the resolution. Correct.